If you love liberty, declare your independence by signing the Shire Society Declaration at ShireSociety.com. Laconia, New Hampshire, is lucky enough to have not only a free state or state rep, who's a reliable liberty activist, but also two competing, two competing newspapers. One, of course, much smaller than the other, probably hanging on by a thread. I don't know which newspaper it was that reported on this, but apparently Sylvia has been attacked by the authorities for living in a an RV on his own property. I wonder who reported him, if anyone. Was it someone in the political system who wanted to retaliate against him for being in office? Maybe wanted to have his position? I don't know. But it's interesting, after you know so many years of not really having very many free staters in trouble with the law, we're seeing, it seems like more and more of it kind of reappearing on the scene. In other news related, I guess I should update you on Rich Paul, who was arrested um, and he's facing apparently three, three to seven, three point five to seven years for a so-called Class B felony for being a, uh, alleged to, allegedly a felon in possession of a deadly weapon. His felony was just a drug offense. I mean, he is the guy that ran those mass, uh, you know, marijuana civil disobedience events that, that peaked in Keene around 2009. Yes, of course he deals with drugs, at least as a user. Anyway, he has a PayPal uh, fundraiser thing going on. Hopefully PayPal won't shut it down. It's at uh, paypal.me slash friarrich. Now, do I think it helps that much for liberty activists to dress like monks and say their religion? I don't know. It, it seems kind of freak show to me. But I like Rich, and after all these years of watching him, we've n really never had a, a serious reason to believe he's not worth donating to. Stalling. Stalling. Checking something. Okay. So, uh... <clears throat> Man oh, you know, actually, now speaking of two newspapers in the same town, Manchester actually has a second paper of sorts, too. Maybe it's a third paper, I'm not sure, but it's the Manchester Ink Link. Unfortunately, I don't sense that they are doing much better than the union leader when it comes to leaning on the authorities. <laughs> I really appreciated this headline for a recent arrest. Quote, Man tasered, arrested for serial trespassing at the library. Actually, now that I read that, I don't like it, after all. If you think about it, aren't you supposed to say alleged trespassing or accused of trespassing? Just because the police say someone was trespassing, you don't automatically report that it's true, unless you saw it. Maybe you report that the police reported it or the police claimed it. Nevertheless, the, this... The, the headline, the headline does sort of speak for itself in the sense that, you know, it's got so many government violations contained in so few words. I mean, obviously, the fact that they tasered him, was that right? Uh, serial trespassing, is that possible at a government facility? Especially one to which the public is invited? I guess it is. Oh, well. Thanks, Inc. Link, for at least providing some competition. The old world is collapsing, and it's going to take its slave driver governments with it. But what will rise up in their place? In New Hampshire, the Shire Society has a plan, an updated web forum, and a history of action. He didn't take long to come up with a plan. You can sign up right now at ShireSociety.com.